Hi, it's David at Foam Boards here. One of my newfound passions, I've always been deadly interested in things that fly, like I'm a world record boomerang thrower and I've always made carbon fibre boomerangs and wooden boomerangs and all sorts of things. Well, I've just got into cutting some out of foam and I sort of have started to make model aircraft too. So I wanted to see if I could draw, because it takes heaps of time to draw out the plans onto the foam board before you cut it out. So what I've done is I've uh, attempted to import a PDF of a set of plans into my cutter and rather than print them and then trace them, I just want to draw those plans straight onto one big sheet of foam board and then I can go around and cut them with my tool. It should save me heaps of time with the drawing and with everything like that. So I'm just going to see if it works. One of my friends came in and said, hey, have a look at this. And he pulled it apart and we actually traced around the pattern and we had to actually shorten a few things and, and just change the size so we could get it to fit on here. Um, I'm sure it's still going to fly okay. I mean, when, once we've cut it out, uh, we'll glue it together and then um, we've got to put the remote control parts into it. In fact, I think some of these pieces, like there's a section, this section in here, um, there's going to be a prop that goes in there and a small uh, battery powered motor and then what I've done is I've got another plane that's got a, a, a camera and a remote control and it was cheaper to buy this whole plane with the remote control, the camera, the battery pack, the recharger and everything um, rather than go and try to just buy individual components. So we're going to gut that plane and hopefully the, I think it's got the right speed of motor that'll work in this one because um, it's a similar sort of size. Like, I mean, this, this looks like it's going to finish up about a, a metre long. Uh, these boards are a metre wide. So we're about, oh, I don't know, at least a metre long the aircraft when it's finished. So it's going to be quite a big plane. So just split it up into two. Wow, oh, that's pretty groovy. We'll just reset the machine and we'll take this pen off and, and see what this whole whole thing looks like. Wow, okay. Now that that was just that was just a felt what felt tip marker. That was just a two-ended felt tip marker and it's it's well, it has sort of pretty much destroyed the tip on that, so I don't know that that would be a good, a good pen to use uh, if I'm going to do it next time. But at least it got all the way around. Um, that was quite successful. Um, what I'd like to do is just have a bit of a look at this plan. Let's get it out of the out of the machine. Wow, now that's quite, that's quite something. Drawing that up onto one large 60 by 40 uh, sheet of white foam board, it's now uh, ready to take that through and I'm gonna do a little bit of hand cutting right now and we'll see how it cuts. So we'll take it out onto our table and I'll show you how we use some of the Foamworks tools to cut this model aeroplane out. 